there, Gina. Whether you are a working mom or a stay-at-home mom or now both, we know that mothering during a pandemic has its good, bad, and ugly days. And all of the moms here at Channel 13 want moms at home to know you are not alone. From quarantine meltdowns to the new work from home reality. My children were screaming and really, and you know, back in the studio, they were like, oh, your dog is barking. I'm like, no, my family's killing each other. <laughs> That's what's happening. We're all facing new challenges. <laughs> Wait, please, no, thank you. Here's William. From no daycare. I'm gonna step aside just for a second since he's, since he's right here so we don't have these piercing screens. To homeschooling for all. We have them in you know, each corner of the house and we feel like we just like run laps all morning long. Us moms at Channel 13 are not immune to the anxiety brought on by this pandemic. There's definitely a ton of added stress. You can ask my husband. There's a lot of added stress on that. We have kids too, a lot of them. Say hi, William. This is Lyndon. He's three. That's Winston. He's six. 15 month old Ella. I have triplets. They're 17 years old. 12 year old, a uh, 10 year old, and a six year old. Emery, I'm five. I'm Ryan and I'm eight years old. Alona's home studio has taken over her kids' playroom, and Catherine has a baby monitor mounted next to her camera. Sometimes it feels like there's a lot less help and a lot more work. The beginning was like, whoa, wait a minute. You mean I don't get a nap today? <laughs> My husband rescued this pecan from our three-month-old's mouth, shoved in there by the toddler when we were both on work calls. And then there was the flooded bathroom, the toddler at work again while mom and dad were trying to meet deadlines. Moms are the first to admit we're not perfect. In lieu of a social life, you know, they play video games all the time. What do you do? Yeah. <laughs> She'll just stroll in during a conference call, take her clothes off, and announce that she needs to go potty. I can't say that we haven't yelled while a child was on a Zoom call or a Google Meet. We just, you know, fingers crossed, hope that it couldn't be picked up on the speaker. And it hasn't always been easy. I have today felt like on the verge of tears. By the end of that time period, we were social distancing from each other. All I want to do this Mother's Day is go to my closet alone with my favorite bag of chips and just have the chips by myself. But whether it's a shirtless teen or pantsless toddler, we are working to make it work. You don't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect. It's just survival at this point, too. You know, you just need to do it one day at a time and you know, if you make it to the next day, then you're good. And this week, we did overhear the toddler promising not to put the baby on an anthill. So I guess progress. So from all of us at Channel 13. All the moms, all the aunts, and the grandmas, and the godmothers. I hope you get a nap. I hope the 2020 Mother's Day is a really special one for you and your family. We're going to get through this together, moms. Take some time for yourself. Smile. Maybe even have a little drink too. Happy Mother's Day, everyone.